The AH-64 Apache is an American twin turboshaft attack helicopter with a tailwheel-type landing gear and a tandem cockpit for a crew of two. The helicopter was introduced to U.S. Army service in April 1986. The Apache helicopter is a revolutionary development in the history of war. It is essentially a flying tank, a helicopter designed to survive heavy attack and inflict massive damage. It can zero in on specific targets day or night, even in terrible weather. It is safe to say the Apache 64 is the most successful attack helicopter of all time. It is as lethal as the Army itself. History and background. Since 1948, the Joint Chiefs and the branches of the military have agreed that the Army should be restricted against developing fixed-wing aircraft, so a helicopter or other rotary wing design was necessary. The Army had the AH-1 Cobra, which deployed with success in Vietnam, but was seeking something with increased firepower, range, ceiling, and anti-armor capabilities. So, in November 1972, the Army released a request for proposals for the Advanced Attack Helicopter Program. Initial proposals were submitted by Bell, Boeing, Hughes, Lockheed, and Sikorsky. In July 1973, the Department of Defense selected Hughes and Bell as the finalists, and both companies were given a contract to build a prototype. By the autumn of 1975, both Hughes and Bell had completed flying prototypes. Hughes's was called the Model 77, and Bell's was the Model 409. After flight tests and further evaluations, the Army chose Hughes's design as the winner, citing its durable and efficient four-blade main rotor and more stable tail-dragger landing gear arrangement. In 1981, the three pre-production AH-64A were handed over to the Army for additional operational testing, which was deemed a success. It was officially given the name Apache in late 1981, following the Army tradition of naming helicopters after Native American tribes or leaders. The Apache was approved for full-scale production in 1982, and the first production rolled off the line at the Hughes helicopter. Over 2,400 Apaches have been built since 1983. Active contracts plan for AH-64E production until 2028, with a current acquisition objective of 812 total aircraft of the latest type. Design features and capabilities. The AH-64 Apache is 15 feet 3 inches to the top of the radar dome and has a 48-foot main rotor diameter. It has a ready-to-fly weight of 17,650 pounds and a maximum takeoff weight of 23,000 pounds. The Army's Acquisition Support Center says the maximum gross weight is 20,260 pounds. It has a four-blade main rotor and a four-blade tail rotor. The crew sits in tandem with the pilot sitting behind and above the co-pilot or gunner. Both crew members are capable of flying the aircraft and performing methods of weapon engagements independently. A useful feature of the AH-64 is its folding, four-bladed, composite main propeller, which allows Apaches to be loaded and transported in a C-17 Globemaster, C-5 Galaxy, or other military transport aircraft, without the need for disassembly of the helicopter for transport. There are numerous features to protect the crew and increase survivability of the helicopter. The airframe is designed to withstand hits from guns of up to 12.7 mm caliber. Rotor blades can withstand hits from 23 mm guns. A large flat plate canopy is fitted with Boren armor, and crew members are seated on crash-resistant seats. The Apache Longbow's radar and targeting capability is also a game-changer. This compact, flattened radar dome sits atop the main rotor gives modern Apache crew the ability to see over obstacles, buildings, trees, and terrain better than nose-mounted radar systems. The radar allows advanced terrain-following capability, so Apaches can safely fly at very low altitudes, even in bad weather or at night. This helps avoid detection by enemy radar or visual observation, 
and enhances the Army's ability to penetrate enemy defensive networks and effectively strike targets without warning. Weapons and Armament The AH-64 comes with a 30mm automatic Boeing M230 chain gun is located under the fuselage, which provides a rate of fire of 625 rounds a minute. The helicopter has capacity for up to 1-200 rounds of ammunition. Armament is being tailored depending on mission requirements. It can carry up to 16 AGM 114R Hellfire II anti-tank guided missiles. For self-defense against hostile helicopters, the Apache Guardian can carry up to two AM-9 Sidewinder, four AIM-92 Stinger, or four Mistral air-to-air -air missiles. It can also carry two AGM-122 sidearm air-to-ground anti-radiation missiles that can target hostile radars. The gunship is often equipped with 19-shot pods with Hydra 70 unguided rockets. The helicopter can carry up to four of these pods. This attack helicopter might be fitted with a longbow fire control radar, which is also used on the previous variant. It gives the capability to fire AGM 114R Hellfire 2 anti tank guided missiles in fire and forget mode. Without this radar, the Hellfire 2 missiles are launched in the line of sight manner. The radar can detect, classify, and prioritize 12 targets simultaneously and can see through the fog and smoke that foils infrared or TV sensors. Engine and Performance Apaches used two General Electric T700 turboshaft engines, initially putting out 1,700 shaft horsepower, increasing with improvements over the years to around 1890 shaft horsepower for the 701C variant, and the engines being fitted to the most recent AH-64E model produce 2,000 shaft horsepower each. Maximum speed of the first AH-64A was 172 miles per hour in level flight, while the latest version's maximum speed is 188 miles per hour. Cruising speed is 165 miles per hour, and maximum ferry range is 1,178 miles. The helicopter's combat range is 260 nautical miles, or about 300 miles. With a full combat load, a fully fueled Apache can remain airborne and on station for 2.5 hours. The Apache's standard rate of climb varies between 1,600 feet per minute and 1,700 feet per minute, depending on air temperature and density. Its service ceiling similarly varies between 1,400 feet and 21,000 feet, depending on how hot the ambient temperature is. The AH-64 is expected to serve for at least another 20 years, with the Army expecting the helicopter to serve well into the 2040s. The Apache is so good at what it does that it's doubtful if a new helicopter, Tiltrotor, or other aircraft type introduced today would bring enough new capabilities to make it worthwhile. Without a doubt, the Apache is one of the best and most dangerous aircraft in the world.